Boy, does it smell good in here, Kara. Yeah, time to have a great day of food. If you have not yet been to Bellagio in Cheshire, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Here in the studio with us are the Loga Brothers, bar manager Corey and Chef Kel. And congratulations. Thank yeah, you. baby Thank girl. You. Baby girl, yes. five months old now. Five months old, yes. What's her name? Elena, and I have a three-year-old Nora. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. And you have a daughter as well. She is, yeah. She's three. Her name's Luana. Luana, beautiful. Yeah. beautiful. Congratulations oh, to the Oh, and the lucky that they have, I'm sure they have good food at home. Yeah. But, um, you know, I was checking out your website. It's just gorgeous. Everything's made from scratch. And so today, what are you going to be showing us? Well, today I'm going to be showing you guys uh, two Zuba de Peches. We have a red and a white. My favorite's the red. Okay. Uh, we have some... Well, my favorite is the red, too. You like the red? But I like a little spicy. Yeah. Oh. Just a little, little spice. I don't like a lot of spice. I'll just a little, little spice. Is it like a little Fra Diablo Fra type? Fra Diablo, I love Fra Diablo. Very good. All right. And um, then... We got P.I. mussels, um, black tiger shrimp, town duck calamari, and uh, cherry clams. Cherry clams, isn't that beautiful? And then these gorgeous both. salads with your own fresh made cheeses and pestos. Yes, and yes. Uh, it's our Harlem uh, tomatoes. Would you mind if I tried one of the shrimp? Of course. All right. I and you're making us, anything. you're going to show us how to make a certain sauce? I'm going to show you guys olive vodka. Okay. So there's a big thing that everyone says they have the best olive vodka, oh. and I think we're one of the best to have the best olive vodka because it's a four year old recipe. It's a basic recipe. Um, okay. You just say. 40 years old? 40, 40 old. years old. Oh. That's amazing. Do you want that on? Okay. Um, okay, so then. That's right. Which, so that's I, I, a, when our kids go to Italian restaurants, they always want the olive vodka. So. Yes, but I won't, I won't put the vodka in for you guys because. No, put it in. Yeah, we, we put it in before, and, and the marinara. <laughs> we don't want any marinara. marinara. <laughs> it's already, it's in there, Scott. I put it in, it's in there. there. That's all right. Very I don't good. want to make a, a really that's big our, flame. That's our secret right there. Don't okay. So, so you have to start with butter. With butter, yes. Okay. So we start with the butter. Talk to us about the restaurant, how beautiful it is. The restaurant, we've been open since uh, 2013. Wow, it's a uh, long time. Yeah, and uh, as the years have gone by, we've uh, slowly expanded. Okay. You know? Uh, they say Roma wasn't built in one day, Bellagio wasn't built in one day. Right, exactly. So, uh, and we're still trying to grow, still trying to expand, expand, uh, but also, uh, you know, be, be better every day. Be better every day. Right. And how is it working with happen? brothers? We're good. We get along very well. Yeah, yeah. that's good. I mean, we both have daughters. Yeah, you know, so that works yeah. out well. You're both girl dads. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, we get along just fine. That is terrific. So we've got butter, and now did you just put fresh basil put in there? put a little fresh basil, a little black pepper. Okay. And then we're going to have the marinara, and we're going to have a little heavy cream I have right Okay, Let's so this is your heavy cream. Yes. Okay. Now, is this, this looks like it's pretty high heat. Should we be using high heat at home? Uh, Yes, the pan medium. medium, medium. You just know what you're doing. I, I like the high heat. Yeah. Okay, he okay. Like, yeah, he likes the pan sauce. But in the meantime, I think we should have an aperitif. teeth. We gotta, uh, you know, get our get our taste buds yeah, open. Yeah, yeah. gotta yeah. open up the appetite a little bit. An aperitif. That's right. So I use about four ounces, or you use eight ounces. Oh, in there, isn't that yeah? beautiful? And then you make your own sauce, obviously, right? Yeah. So a olive vodka sauce really is always going to have a little vodka and a little cream. Is cream. that the issue? Yep. Okay. A, a nice tomato, a nice robust tomato. Okay. What is this? Up, uh, 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 what, what is this? This is hey, Savoy Americano. Savoy Americano. Okay. Yep. We're yeah. going to make an Americano cocktail. Okay. Uh, there's a new movie that just came out with Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie. Okay. Called the Tourist. And they're in oh, Venice. Heard, yeah. They're in Venice. They're drinking an Americano cocktail. There's different recipes you can make this cocktail with. We're going to do it with Savoy. It's just Savoy Americano. And... Soda water. And soda water. And But we're going to add a little bit of style in the end. Okay. And of course, you what want everything Savoy? to be super cold. What is Savoya? Savoya is, uh, is an aperitif made with uh, wine coming from Torino okay. and a bitter from Milano. Okay. Wow. So it's like uh, about 75% wine base, and the rest are, you know, selected botanicals like wow. uh, mandarin peel. You know, grapefruit, bitter orange. That sounds delicious. Is it yeah. sort of like an Aperol spritz, but not? I mean, it's This more... is better, though. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> I know Aperol spritz are trendy, but it's a real Italian... But they call it the Americano? This is the Americano cocktail. Okay. So when you when you use something like Aperol, you need uh, some type of wine-based uh, to come on the side, like a vermouth, for example. This has, like, that vermouth and the bitter inside already. Okay. Look and how so beautiful it is. Instead of uh, garnishing with the orange, we do some, some, green grapes. some green grapes. Some green grapes. Italian mac and right. cheese, they call it. We only have a minute left in the segment, guys. Italian so. mac and cheese, they call it. Okay, yes. so you should start. Now, you've already got cooked pasta, and that's, yep. you add yes. it right in there? Yes. So I didn't know that. So, that, so the, all that Parmesan went in there. All the cream went in there. Everything was uh, all in there. Quick, yes. Yeah. It's a nice, quick home. 
Uh, isn't that beautiful? I didn't. I can make this at home. I didn't know that that's how you do it. Okay. Yes. Thank you for showing us. You're very welcome. And this is really pretty. This has got fresh grapes in it. Oh yeah. So I'm kind of a, a lightweight. So this is a light drink. This is a light drink. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be a little bit bitter, but a little refreshing. Open up your appetite. Complex. Mm. Complex. Oh, you didn't. I'm sorry. You didn't cheers. cheers me. Cheers. Salute. 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 No drinks for the chef just yet. No. no we'll toast. <laughs> God bless. Oh, delicious. Just yeah, it's ready. nice and light. It's nice and light. Amer it's Americano, okay? Very so Americano. watch, we're going to plate this up. And all of this is available for you right on West Main Street in Cheshire. So if you're thinking 835 West Main Visit so BellagioCT.com. Maybe you'll take me for my birthday. Oh, that would be so fun. You can also follow Bellagio CT on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And uh, while he plates that up, we're going to get ready to eat something. That looks absolutely beautiful. This is incredible. It smells amazing in here. Definitely go check them out. We're going to get to eat this uh, in the commercial break. But coming up, we'll give you some free legal advice. So stay with us. Absolutely. Stay with us.